Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 5th of December and I have a little bit of news for you regarding AMD as they have just announced the new Catalyst Omega drivers which have a plethora of goodies which is going to make any PC gamer feel pretty damn happy even if some of the technologies it's going to be supporting are a little bit out of your budget. It's still nice to see AMD doing well, but regardless, these drivers, just FYI, will be out on December the 9th. And basically, the main thing that a lot of people are going to be happy about, regardless of your setup, is that they're going to be having virtual super resolution, which, as you may know, or may not know, is basically AMD's answer to NVIDIA's dynamic super resolution, or... In more simple terms, basically, you can consider it downsampling. It will also serve as an alternative to SSAA in games that do not natively support it. Now, a lot of games do, and of course, with certain cards, you can enable it via the uh, control panel for your graphics card, but the virtual super resolution will basically do that for you. As, as you guys probably know, but just in case you don't, downsampling basically means that you're running higher resolution internally and then the image will be downsampled to a lower resolution, which will greatly give you improved image quality. Although if you do want much, much, much more information on downsampling, I suggest you just search it on the channel as uh, Crimson Rain, my colleague and partner in crime, did a rather helpful video on it quite some time ago. Now, what's also interesting, one of the most interesting pieces of information is that it will see the adoption of FreeSync technology, which is like G-Sync. However, unlike G-Sync, it will not require additional hardware, but does have a caveat as it will require newer DisplayPort connectors. And the monitors with FreeSync tech are going to be launched in the first quarter of 2015, just for your information. Now, I do have a rough idea of how much this is going to compare in terms of price to G-Sync monitors, um, basically, AMD have said that FreeSync monitors will be about eighty to a hundred dollars cheaper than G-Sync models, which is pretty damn nice, and will of course help lower the general cost of your setup as well. Also, the update will be bringing numerous GPU and APU optimizations, which will actually increase performance up to twenty-five percent on APUs and twenty percent on GPUs. This will also give improvements to video quality, such as, say, adaptive upscaling, as well as improvements for the compression of videos, and will actually remove compression artifacts, and will give you a little bit of a helping hand if perhaps you're watching a lower resolution video on a higher resolution display, say it's an older movie or something like that, and also will give a nice little boost to gamers who are using Crossfire setups, as it will have frame pacing enhancements. Now, the thing I referenced at the start of this video that's going to make you happy but probably be a little bit out of your price range is that will actually be support for 5K monitors and Affinity with 24 display support. So 24 monitors, I doubt many of you are going to have quite so many displays, but the support will be there. As always, of course, we'll be containing the usual huge amount of bug fixes and things like that, but the main... Um, selling points of this particular update are what I've already detailed, that being virtual super resolution, uh, the free sync technology, and of course the frame pacing enhancements as well. So pretty nice update from AMD, I have to say. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts below. How much do you want a 5K monitor now that I've said this? And I'll see you next time. 